The, the Summit Family Five. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the Summons Family 5 show and today we will be reviewing Love of Lucy Color Me. Okay, but before we do that, we want to talk about the show a little bit, right? So we are going to be reviewing lots of toys. As you can see behind us, these are some of the Christmas presents, just a few of the Christmas presents that our kids got. Um, so we're going to be doing some boys toys with our son. Um, and we're going to be doing some little kids toys. We have a three-year-old who is dying to do some toy reviews, so we'll see how that goes. I can't promise you that it's going to be anything <laughs> short of a disaster, but we'll try it. Um, but Taya here wanted to start off with this La La Loopsie toy. So she's going to tell you a little bit about it, and we're going to take it out of the packaging and show you how it works and see if it works well, because this is pretty new to La La Loopsie, right? Yeah, pretty new. Okay, so tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so um, this little loopsie is called Squiggles and Shapes. There are four mark, and it comes with four markers, an eraser, two stamps, a pet butterfly, and the doll itself. And on the back, it says, starring in my own episode on Nick Jr., um, go to LaLaLoopsie.com for coloring pages and design ideas. Um, oh, cool. So you can go to their website. Yeah. You can get coloring pages and design ideas. Um, and then it says on here that she was once a rag doll who magically came to life when her very last stitch was sewn. She loved, oh, when her very last stitch was sewn. She loves to draw and paint, but sometimes her imagination goes wild and she'll draw a giant bouncy marshmallow or a fountain filled with hot cocoa and she has a pet butterfly, which is why the pet butterfly, I'm sure, is included in here. Um, and you can write on both of them. You can color on both of them. So um, um, this is what the box looks like. It's very cute. It's it, very colorful. It also says, um, hey parents, become a fan, facebook.com slash and it says it's for ages 4 to 104, so... Oh, we're somewhere in there. Right, we're, we're in there, right? Yeah, we're okay. somewhere. So I don't know if you'd really... Well, I guess they test this on ages 4-year-olds. You just want to probably watch them very closely because these markers look a little bit like um, like an acrylic paint marker that uh, may not come off. Seems like it'll come off of this. We'll see if it comes off of her dress, but maybe wouldn't want them to use it um, anywhere near carpet or or their clothing. Yeah. So we're going to open up the box really quick and get and her out. Mm -hmm. oh, there's sorry. something right here. Oh, oh, am I opening it the wrong way? Oh, whatever. <laughs> I don't work the box. Great. That's okay. It also comes with some papers in here to tell you how to do it. And yes, stop. Sometimes these boxes are hard to get things out of, so should we take a moment? Oh, this black rat. Oh, I'm glad it doesn't have my, those little things that you had to cut into them. And yeah, stuff sometimes bad. those are hard. Yeah. It seems like it comes apart pretty easy. Okay, so it looks like you, you squeeze these together. Okay, this might take us a minute. It's okay. It happens. Okay, I got one, I think. No, no, I don't. No, you want to do them next to each other, please? So, that when you do the next one, you can kind of pull up. Okay, I got one. My mom is way better at opening boxes than I am. Not really. <laughs> You are. You're older than me. Not too old, but <laughs> you're older than me. <laughs> Not too old. Not too old. <laughs> but old enough to be better at opening boxes. Although Coda, <laughs> my son, on our Mother's Day card, they were asked, how old is your mother? And he put, really, really old. So, I guess that's how old I am. I'm really, really old. Taya, when she did that in preschool, she put that I was 13, though. So, hey, I'm doing all right. But that was in preschool. Yeah, that was in preschool. Okay, not okay. too bad. All right, Ooh, let's get her out. Squishy, 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 squishy. Ooh, she's so cute. Uh -huh. So this is her. While you're getting other things out, I'm going to show her, okay? Okay, be careful. Scooch over a little bit. Okay. Okay, so this is her. She's J. 
just white, um, and a little bit of black, so just the stitching and around the buttons around the eyes. A little bit on her dress detail is black, but otherwise she's pretty much completely white, so you can color all over her. Um, she does have arm articulation and um, cute little legs that you can have her sit. Sorry, this is too much noise over here. <laughs> You are making a lot of noise. Hey, the box. Okay. I have her sitting, you know. Okay. Uh, this is her little butterfly, which is also all white. There's no no black, so you can um, color pretty much every part of the butterfly. Oh my are you dropping things? <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. And then while you're picking that up, I'll show the markers. So there's a pink marker. It looks like a neon yellow marker. Is there another shadow And then there's a green marker and an orange marker. And the thing that's cute about these is they're also a black and white stripe, but they have little buttons, just like the button eyes on the little so, uh, You know that it goes with that. It also says Lala Loopsy on here. Um, I'm sure these are the only markers that you'll want to use on your Lala Loopsy. And uh, the reason is, is because if you use a permanent marker, or something else, you never know if it's going to come off of the dress or her. So I would only use the markers that come with the toy. That's my recommendation. I'm sure um, that's what the company intends too, is for you to use only the markers that come with her. And then there's all the, also these cute little stamps. And um, one is a heart. I don't know how well you can see that, but one's a heart. And one is a little star that looks like a button. And they are actually, they look like little, um, what are these called? Uh, um, spools. Well, yeah, like little spools that thread go on. So um, <laughs> everything is kind of themed toward the, the Lala theme. Do you want and me then, to get some paper towels? Do you want to show the... Oh, yeah, and um, it comes with a sponge. Um, and another reason why you only want to use these markers is they... Other markers might dry and have like paint markers and stuff, but when they dry, you will not be able to wipe them off. But if these markers, you want to wipe them off of the doll, they will come off. <laughs> <laughs> and it also looks like, as I'm looking at this, um, which I've never heard before, is so we got Squiggles and Shapes, which is um, this white little doll over here. There's also one called Tracy Doodles, and it comes with a pet zebra and four markers. The same, the same things, except for the pet is a zebra, and it looks like a darker colored doll. It is black. Oh, so you can do, you can trace and ah, yeah, and the dress is black with white, um, white stitching and, and white bow. So it's just the opposite of this one. So. Um, I, you, do you want to color the doll while I work on the butterfly so we can show them how it looks? Sure. Okay. Um, and these are like paint markers, so you're going to have to like shake well, them off. Look at chunks. Do you want to shake them? Shake them, shake them, shake them. Oh my gosh. Well, you have to shake them. Uh, okay. Shake my shake. Shaken. 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 <laughs> now you have pop them. Oh, so you have to pump them a little bit, Dad. Dad, I don't know if you can use the camera and show that you have to kind of get them, they're pri you have to get them primed. Um, and also make sure it doesn't go through to the table. I'm trying, no. This one takes a little while. You just have to keep pushing them. And then once you see the color start to come through, see, that's why I said you have to shake them, shake oh, them. Oh, that's working. You have that's to start to come through. So show, show the camera, show the camera. That's so so now I went tip. yellow and now it is pink. Yeah, so the tip is now pink rather than like the yellowish orange color. Or I think yours pink. is starting. Actually, the green is starting, so I'm going to show you if you can come in close. Ooh, can I have a pink? One second, please, dear. Okay. <laughs> okay, here it comes. So you can kind of actually see it changing. Changing and starting to, to turn green a little bit. So you have to just make sure you prime them before you use them. Yeah, or I will not. Make not sure they're good. right. Well, they won't write. They yeah, I won't silly. Write. Okay, my... And make sure you recap them. I'm going to prime this one if you want to start coloring her. Okay. Well, the yellow one's going to be a little hard to see if it's primed. So prime. she's going to give her some design. Uh, this is so hard. 
It's hard? It looks really easy. Um, it is easy, but, like, it's kind of hard because... Well, if you mess up, all you have to do is wipe it off. Yeah, but I don't really have a steady hand. It's hard. Well, you have to take your time, and as you get used to it, it'll become easier and easier. Okay, do you want me to work on the butterfly a little bit? Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm just going to put some detail on the butterfly, and then I'll show you... Well, when I'm halfway through while she's working on that. Oh, okay. Uh, let me show you how to do one of the stamps. So, uh, you want to do it on the star side, not the button side. The, and if you feel them, it is rubbery on the side. Oh, it is? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, it is. It has like a rubbery feel on the side that you're supposed to use. It's like a stamp. And oh. um, so I'm going to take my green marker and I'm just going to draw all over the shape. You do not want to draw on the outside of the shape. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Cameraman issues. Oh. <laughs> Dad, make sure the cameras. <laughs> I don't know the word. And all you gotta do is, I think it's easier to stamp on the dress than the kind of heart. This thing is so cute. I do have to say, I really like it. Uh, I messed up. I think this is something that when I was a little girl I would have really liked. Oh uh, yeah, I need some water on this. I forgot that you need water. Oh. So this is the this is the test to see if it comes off of oh, the dress. The dress. Oh my gosh, Dad. <laughs> Alright, we're having cameraman issues. We may have to do this ourselves because he's being really ridiculous behind the camera. Yeah. Let's see. We'll show him first. So you, she had a green stamp that she messed up on. And look, it wipes right off. Right off. So that's just Absolutely gone. how it shows, and you need to wipe off the stamp. Oh, yeah. And you can wipe off the stamp. <laughs> oh, oh. And I'm dropping things. <laughs> You're dropping things. All right, let me put one more thing on the butterfly, and I'll kind of show you. Well, I'm still decorating. <laughs> what it looks like. I'm going to show you. Yep. I think you might be better at this than I am. Uh -huh. Especially because you keep bumping me. <laughs> hey, so not. I already did a bunch of let's try some green. So, so you can kind of see, since we have it not, not facing you, if you just take take the marker over any portion. Yep, yeah, I cannot do the stamps, they're too hard. Let me try, I, I doubt they're hard, we'll see it's in practice. Yeah, need practice. practice. If it's for four to 104, I'm sure we can figure it out. <laughs> anyway, so, um, if you could see, they, they really do come off. Pretty easy. And they're pretty easy. And then I'm going to show you how the butterfly wipes off, and so you can just keep doing this over and over again. So you just need a little bit of water, maybe even a bowl, but... Um, oh, I'm just going to use this bottle of water that I'm spraying everywhere. <laughs> and then... Since she already used the sponge, there was a little bit of stuff on here. So she's going to it. So it might be hard to get off all the color right away. Oh, it comes off really well, actually, very easily. Again, I don't know how well this would come off on carpet, though, or clothing. Um, I don't really want to test that. So um, we're going to just say... Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. But look, it's all cleaned off. Oops, so all of the design that I did is all cleaned off. So now she'll be able to take it and play with it on her own and design it however she wants. Do you want to show them how you've designed her so far? Sure. I'm going to you fix her hair. She looks so cute. She looks so cute. So you can even um, design the dress, like we said, with the stamps or squigglies or hearts or however you want to do it. Um, and then again, keep the markers, keep everything together. Make sure you clean out the sponge when you're done with it. I'm not. Um, and you can use it over and over and over again. So, what do you think? Do you like the um, the color yeah. of the lipstick? Yeah. I would think I would recommend it for um for anybody. For really. anybody, pretty like much, it. but not younger ages, like like the box set four. Yeah, yeah, probably not two and three years. Right? Yeah, right. No. right. But we think it's great. We love yeah. it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching our first ever Never broadcast. Again. We'll get better. It's going to take us some time, so bear with us. Right. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.